Yes guys, the title and the thumbnail of this video is not clickbait. BMW really did crash my brand new G80 M3. Now to explain the story, I'm actually gonna take you guys along with me for a drive. I need gas in the M3. Now obviously, based on the fact that I'm driving the car right now, you guys can guess, it's not that bad. However, they did crash the car and the car needs some repairs now. So I'm currently on my way to Costco Gas, which is by the way where I always get my gas from. The car says I have 12 miles to empty and I have about 6.8 miles to get there. It also says I'm gonna get there at 7.58 and it closes at eight o'clock. So we gotta make sure we get some good time. If you guys can't tell, it's also raining. So this is just kind of a bad situation overall. And then also the fact that BMW crashed my car. But let me explain that to you guys. So for those of you new to this channel, this is my 2023 BMW M3. It is a competition. It is X-Drive, which is really nice because uh, it's raining right now. But anyways, I got this car about a month and a half ago at this point, maybe two months ago. I can't even remember. But obviously this being a brand new car, that means that I had to have it broken in. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with what that means, it basically means that the car is essentially limited. You're not supposed to push it past certain RPMs. I think it's like four or 5,000 in you can't do launch control all this type of stuff basically the car is limited you know you have to bring it in for a uh, break-in service where they change the rear differential fluid your oil all this type of stuff and they do like an overview on the car so that was why i brought it to bmw and that's when things went south but before i explain any further i still have like seven miles to get there and my car is saying i have nine miles to empty so i'm gonna focus on driving guys i'll meet you again at the gas station and then i'll wrap up this story because it only gets more interesting I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I cut that dangerously close. In my defense though, when I got in the car, it said I had 20 miles to empty, and it's only about like a nine mile drive or so. But when I started driving, that 20 miles just kept on plummeting and plummeting. This car does that a lot. Definitely not like my 330i, which is way more fuel efficient. But anyways, that's not why we get these cars, right? And we don't get them so BMW can crash them. So anyways, back to the story. Where did I leave off again? Point is, I brought the car to BMW to service, and now, I don't know if I explained this, but the Keys Motorsports show was Sunday. I brought it on Friday. I did it right before the Keys show because I really wanted the car to get broken in. That way I can actually enjoy the car on the drive and not have to worry about, you know, sticking under a certain RPM, certain speed, all that type of stuff. So I dropped it off Friday morning and around like maybe one or two o'clock, I get a call from BMW. And this is where it gets interesting, guys. So the guy calls me and this is not to bash the dealership or the service center. I'm not even gonna mention their name because overall, I actually really like them. I have another story with another service center that was really bad, very similar, but it went in a much worse direction. But this service center overall, I actually really like. So the guy called me and he goes, hey, Eamon, uh, we went through the car, everything is good. We changed the fluids. We did everything that we had to. Um, the car is done. But unfortunately, now when he said unfortunately, I kind of paused a little bit. Like, I'll explain it to you guys, but when this was all happening, and mind you, like, I'm just on the phone, right? This is all happening over the phone. I don't see anything. I don't see anyone's faces. I don't see the actual car. But when this is all happening, I'm almost in, like, shock or disbelief. The guy says, unfortunately, and I'm thinking, like, maybe, oh, we have to change one more thing. You know, you're not going to get the car until tomorrow, something like that. Because I told the guy I need the car before the key show on Sunday, and that's really, really important to me. So everything's going in slow motion at this point. The guy goes, unfortunately... The service guy hit your car when he's taking it off the lift. Now, this is where my heart sunk. A part of me thought he was like pranking me because when I saw him in person to drop off the car, uh, you know, I think he saw that I was a young guy and I was kind of like joking around with him a little bit. So I thought like, all right, he knows that I have a show on Sunday and it's like really important to me that I get the car there and the car is brand new. And you know, like I was joking around with him before. So he's probably trying to play like a little prank on me, which probably isn't professional, but regardless. So that's where my head went right away. He was like, guy hit your car. I'm like, he's gonna be like, nah, I'm just joking. You know, your car's ready, come pick it up. Unfortunately, he was not joking. The guy really did hit the car. And now, obviously, if you guys went to the key show and you saw my car in person, you probably didn't really notice the hit because it's not that noticeable. So I'm in the Costco parking lot right now. It did stop raining. So let me hop outside the car and let me explain to you guys where the hit happened and what damage actually occurred. So thankfully, guys, again, the damage really isn't that bad, but where it all pretty much happened was right over here on the wheel and on the tire. Now, right off the bat, the guy did tell me that they replaced the tire. So apparently when the guy hit the car, taking off the lift and he hit the wheel and the tire, it took like a chunk of rubber out of this tire. The guy said that it was still holding air. However, he just wanted to be safe and he just replaced the tire entirely. That was tough to say, but you guys know exactly what I mean. So this is a brand new tire. The other one, again, lost like a chunk of rubber. Now, not only did they hit the tire, they also hit the wheel. If you guys can see that right there, that's pretty much the extent 
of the damage. So I am hopping back inside the car because it is starting to rain again. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the damage on the car. They hit the wheel, they damaged the wheel, they hit the tire, they damaged the tire, they replaced the tire, they didn't replace the wheel yet. So the guy did tell me, he was like, hey, listen, leave the car with us, we'll fix the wheel, or if we can't fix it to 100%, we're gonna replace it, uh, just come back, get the car later. Uh, I told him again, the key show is on Sunday, I can't leave the car with you any longer. So he replaced the tire, I took the car, it was drivable. Unfortunately, the wheel is still damaged. I have to go back and have them replace it. Uh, when I do go back, I am gonna try to tell the guy, like, can you just replace the wheel entirely? Because I don't wanna have a wheel that's been replaced. Like, it wasn't my fault, it's BMW who hit the car, it's not my fault. So I'd rather just the wheel be replaced. I know I have a new one that's, you know, never been hit and repaired before. Like, again, it's a $100,000 new car. Uh, I don't want to have a wheel that's been repaired already. I know that's being a little picky, but in my defense, guys, like this car is brand new and I was actually really, really nice with them. The guy literally thanked me for not yelling at him because I can only imagine for him, who, by the way, isn't actually the person who's working on the car. If you guys are familiar with BMW service centers, you have like a almost like a liaison who who like works with you. And then there's actual people working on the cars. So it was an actual like service tech guy, whatever who hit the car, taking it off the lift. Um, it was not the guy who called me. So I can only imagine his experience, like having to call a customer uh, and just basically tell him like, hey, like, you, you know your car that you left with me to, to service and fix? You know, the one that's $100,000 and pretty much brand new? Yeah, well, they hit it. That's probably a really tough conversation to have. So um, I can only imagine what that guy was going through. Now, obviously it's my car that got hit at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, he did thank me for not yelling at him. And you know, like I understand, like mistakes happen. It is what it is. I'm not gonna yell at someone and, and give someone a hard time because of that. As long as they fix the car and it's like it never happened. So they fixed the tire, the tire's brand new, it's good. But I will be taking the car back to BMW and they will be fixing it, of course, free of charge, which should be pretty obvious, you know, that they do. However, um, you know, some BMW dealerships, uh, they don't always do that. So the fact that the dealership that did this with the M3 actually admitted that they did it, that in itself meant a lot to me. So anyways, guys, I know that was probably a little underwhelming in terms of like BMW crashing my car. So forgive me if I was a little dramatic in the title and the thumbnail. Let me know if you guys had anything like this happen to you at your BMW dealership or service center or whatever it is. Did they ever hit your car? Because the more that I've talked to people about this happening, the more that I've learned that this actually isn't all that uncommon. But anyways, guys, this video is pretty much done and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.